My approach to make it work is definitely about bringing myself to places that I know very little about. So my relationship to these objects or to these sort of figures is quite unknown to me. I don't want to explain too much. I think it's okay to live with that sense of not knowing. We end up crafting thoughts or images or whatever it is that we do with that expectation of, for this thing to provide a manual. I think that those images are just there to maybe signal the possibility for you to try and figure out your own sense of mystery rather than you being told what that mystery is. That is just something that you can use to initiate your own journey, you know, which is what I think art is supposed to be doing in the first place. The practice of making work is about actually focusing on these more sort of uncomfortable things. Perhaps a great part of the creative process actually stems out of a slightly negative or uncomfortable or slightly traumatic thing. You realize that actually the reason why you're employing figurative work is because it's the nearest you can get to somehow create that level of, you know, role play and you can really reenact certain things. So they can perform different roles and sometimes, you know, like I'm make the head of a sculpture which then is reused again in a different body or sort of what kind of body does it require, if any. There is almost like a pool of images that somehow in parts is reused for some of the work. They are connected to also uh, physical properties. So like an object is subjected to like how do you make a figure stand up? There's a whole range of other figures that are allowing the first figure to stand up. So it's almost like thinking of visualizing this sort of energy that makes a body stand up. In the course of doing that, then you realize that there's a whole set of cast of characters that emerge from making that happen. So it's a combination of functional solutions to make objects stand in certain ways. And in doing that, you highlight certain maybe emotional possibilities for those objects to be loaded with. I'm really trying to decipher something. You know, I think that there is something in the back of my mind that feels like, you know, this will come together as a thing, but this is often very much how a larger, more committed endeavor begins. And uh, this is a cast of a, like a wax cast of a head that I've used in another sculpture, which I normally what I end up doing is sort of manipulating the facial expression and then recast it. But as a starting point is somebody who's already been used for a previous work. There is a certain element of research in terms of really looking at this image and figuring out how is it made, how big is it, how big does it need to be, and what is it doing? <laughs> you know, what is it trying to do? And, if it's trying to do anything, does it deserve to do anything or should it just be not doing anything at all and just be kept in a sketchbook? It seems at the moment it is crystallizing into these sort of very particular forms, you know, like these bodies and these situations. But it's still very much in the realm of experimentation. I mean, there is nothing that I approach in a routine manner. It really is like a spell. You just draw elements together and you just sort of proceed in blind faith with the fact that something will make its own sphere of energy.